folks, how we doing? Welcome back to another episode of Falling Out. This is going to be a shorter one than normal, but I think it's going to be a good one. Let me explain the backstory. In the wake of the Shinzo Abe assassination last summer, the Unification Church's primary source of funding, the coerced donations from Japanese church members, has started to dwindle. And on top of that, the Japanese government appears to be very close to removing the Unification Church's charitable status, which would significantly impact their ability to raise funds in Japan. All of this is to say the Unification Church is hurting financially. And as a result of that, they have now shifted their fundraising efforts to church members in other parts of the world. In particular, in the U.S., they have now doubled down on extorting money from church members, and that includes on the 7th of October, which is the day that I am recording this, a speaking tour by none other than Hak Jahan herself, the widow of Sun Myung Moon, traveling to Las Vegas in the U.S. and soliciting donations from church members in the U.S. Now, you might wonder what's going to happen with that money. And for today's episode, would like to refer you, if you have that question, if you are considering donating to the Unification Church for whatever reason, I would like you to also consider the historical usage of money by the Unification Church in the city of Las Vegas. And to help put that story together, I'm going to be looking at a video released by TBS News, a Japanese broadcaster, a few months ago, during which they looked at IRS records and records from casinos in Las Vegas, and were able to find out how much money Hak Jahan and Sun Myung Moon and other members of the Unification Church leadership spent in Las Vegas gambling over the past decade or so. The figures are shocking, and we're going to go into that. It is in the tens of millions of dollars. And before we go to the video, I just want to say I didn't do this alone. It's been really, really awesome to cultivate a network of friends around the world who have skills in various things, including language skills, and one of those kind people who will remain anonymous did a great public service, in my opinion, by translating this video from Japanese into English. So what you're going to hear now, for the first time in English, is... My sweet, buttery voice delivering that English translation of this nine-minute Japanese video, along with some commentary. One final thing, this is going to go on the audio feed for the podcast. It will also go up on YouTube for free. I'm not going to put this behind the Patreon paywall. I think everyone should know about this. Please enjoy. How are donations to the former Unification Church being used, which has been causing suffering for believers and their families? This is a video released by an affiliate of the church regarding their activities in Las Vegas. President Hak Jahan had this to say. As I said earlier, True Father's purpose of providence here in Las Vegas was to make nations belong to the Unification Church. Providence refers to the movement to spread the teachings of the Unification Church. In the Unification Church, Las Vegas is positioned as a as Satan's city. They gather believers in Las Vegas to, quote, remake the city of Las Vegas from hell to heaven. And the Las Vegas Providence is to be held there, where Sun Myung Moon, Hak Jahan, and others preach their teachings. A magazine 
published by a group affiliated with the UC, also carried a report on the Las Vegas Providence. But what is the reality? We obtained a document prepared by a company who operates casinos in Las Vegas. It is addressed to Hak Jahan. I just want to say for the audio people,、uh, they are actually showing the document here live on camera.、Uh, it's, it's addressed to Hak Jahan.、Uh, it's from a place called M Life Players Club, excuse me,、uh, which is run by the company MGM Resorts International. Let us continue. Shirio. その宛先はハン・ハクチャ様へハン・ハクチャ氏と教団幹部11人が2018年に発行された2018年の予算案の予算案で、金額や収入が計算されています。今も教団の予算案で、A veteran member who still belongs to the Unification Church of Korea was interviewed. This is that member. The money was spent in places that had nothing to do with the province. Under the name of the Las Vegas Providence, President Hak Jahan and other officials used the money for gambling. The money was donations from church believers, which they made through their sweat and tears. According to the document, the total amount spent at the casinos was about $42.8 million, or about 3.4 billion Japanese yen at the 2011 exchange rate. Can we just pause there and, and just take a breath at that? $42.8 million in 2011 spent in casinos by Hak Jahan. That's where this fucking money is going. And now they got the balls the, to go back to Las Vegas and、um, demand more money from members to just go right back into the casinos. This is, they are fucking grifters. <laughs> they are hucksters. And thank you so much to TBS News in Japan for making this video. Please do not take me down. All I'm doing is is translating what you've done. I don't think there's any copyright issues here. I certainly hope not.、Um, but you've done a great service by doing this. And、um, I hope that it can reach a broader audience through me making this English translation. These people are fucking grifters. If you can't see it, then I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Let's continue. The data showed a negative balance with a huge loss of approximately $6.52 million or 520 million Japanese yen. So, not only did they spend $42.8 million in casinos, they lost $6.52 million. For you people that are out there fucking selling flowers, giving your labor, giving your fucking kids to this organization, is this what you're giving it to them for? Are you giving it to them so that they can go spend it in casinos and lose it? Ask yourself that. When, how is that part of the plan for bringing world peace? If it is true that they spent this much money at casinos, then they were treated like VIPs in Las Vegas, weren't they? The veteran member says. That is true. They were treated like VVIPs. I heard they even had their own safes in VIP rooms. A former believer who was a servant of the Moon family in the U.S. testified in an interview. She said that Hak Jahan had frequented casinos and that, there, that, her, that her favorite game was, in particular, slot machines. She told me that some slot machines had a good conversion rate or where the slot machines which had good payouts were. She once told me that there was a machine that gave you tens of million dollar, millions of dollars if you win. And I heard, heard her say, The day I went there, I played on the machine and I won the jackpot. She was incredibly knowledgeable. To be honest, I wondered why true parents knew so much about gambling. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think I know why. I think it's because they spend a lot of fucking time doing it. 
fucking infuriating. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's continue. There's only one way you get to be that that knowledgeable about gambling. It's by gambling a lot. Let's go. So ste. In the Unification Church, according to this UC member, there was a certain concern about the money spent at the casino from this member. There was a fear that President Hak Jahan and others would be charged with tax evasion. <laughs> yeah, because because it happened before. Yeah, they did that shit before. And yes, I think your your, your fears are probably uh, well founded. Let's continue. <laughs> The veteran member said that the U.S. casinos issued statements and filed tax returns to the IRS in the U.S. and eventually paid the tax. So, what was the source of the gambling expenses from the veteran member? The source was donations from Japanese believers. They are now showing a document and... It continues. The veteran active member showed us an internal document of the UC called the Las Vegas Donation List, which contains details of donations from Japanese believers. Uh, for the audio people, they are showing this document right now. It looks to have uh, the looks to have dates, names of people, genders, and amounts donated. Uh, Sorry, the ent entry date to the U.S., the date of departure from the U.S. Um, and this, and let's continue to listen to the to the Japanese, and I'll translate it. It is titled "List from Japan to Las Vegas" and lists the name of each Japanese believer, the date of departure and arrival, and the amount of donation in dollars. I'm looking at these numbers now. It's like. $8,000, I am none of it's over $10,000, and I don't think that that's, a, that that's an accident because I think if it goes over 10 k that's when you have to report that shit to the IRS. So this seems kind of evasive to me. Um, there's also a lot of, like, these people... There's a lot of names on this list. They don't show the names, but sorry, a lot of people on the list because, yeah, there's, I don't know, 30, 40 just on this one page. Uh, and they all came in on the same day and all left on the same day as well, the 7th of, of June 2009 and then the 12th of June 2009. So like a, a, like probably hundreds of Japanese people came to the U.S., gave cash, and then left. To be gambled back into the Las Vegas casinos. Fucking infuriating. Okay, let's continue. Oh, here we go. The list covers about a three-year period from 2009 to 2011 and includes names of 1,256 believers. The total amount of donations is approximately $9.51 million, or about 760 million Japanese yen at the 2011 exchange rate. So like, can we just pause there? So, in that single, in in that that's that's time span of three years, it includes names of one thousand two hundred fifty six people. So twelve hundred people came and went just just with pockets full of cash to give to the Moon family that they then then went and spent in casinos. All all y'all people who joined this supposed world peace movement is is this where you thought your labors were going to be going? And if not, might you want to reconsider where your labors are going now? According to the veteran member, the documents were submitted to the IRS by the Unification Church to show that the money for the gambling at casinos was donated by believers. So the IRS fucking knows this. This is fucking crazy. Like, they have to show the IRS where the money came from came from they're like oh it just came from the people were fleecing fuck you so hard jesus fucking christ and why doesn't this raise red flags at the IRS i guess maybe they're fucking cool with cool with that cuz they're just cool with religious people doing whatever the fuck they want with the money that they they fleece their members for regardless of the religion but this is fucked up on many many levels 
A former church member whose name was on the list was interviewed. This is what they said. I didn't know they were gambling. Although he is no longer with the church, he was once one of the church leaders and joined the Las Vegas tour. All church members who participated took a large amount of cash with them, he said. We took it in envelopes in our pockets or in our bags in order to bring money directly to Las Vegas. According to the Las Vegas donation list we obtained, each person gave an average of 7,500 US dollars. At the rate at the time, the amount did not exceed 1 million yen, a former member says. I think the amount of donations was just enough to keep us from being caught by customs. Yep, it was. That shit was intentional. This TBS anchor woman continues. Of course, you members didn't decide how much to take, but the church directed you how much. Former member says. That's correct. Yeah, so that's correct. So the church told them how much money to bring. The church instructed them to bring certain amounts that would that would not raise red flags. These were not voluntary donations. These were coerced donations to people that thought that it was going to save the world. And it went into the pockets of Sun Myung Moon and Hak Jahan, and they fucking gambled it in fucking Vegas. They fucking gambled it away. They are fucking grifters. I how it's so fucking clear, so fucking clear. According to the former member, the, it is UC's common method of donation to ensure that customs or other places do not keep records. There we go. There we fucking go. Yes, that's how this works. The church tells you how and when and how much to donate to avoid any red flags or any accountability for that money. Some church-related person said the money was stored in a large safe at the Tenwa Palace, a unification church facility built in Las Vegas. For the people looking on, or sorry, for the people listening to the audio but not watching the video, this place looks like a really uh, kind of gaudy, just sort of extra uh, Mook Mansion in the suburbs of Las Vegas. I've never seen this place before. It's called the Tenwa Palace. It, it looks, it's fucking tacky, which should not surprise you, knowing the Moon family. <laughs> The anchor woman. What were you all doing there? Were there any programs or training that you were supposed to do? The former member says, no, nothing like that. Nothing? We went sightseeing around the Grand Canyon National Park with other church members from all over Japan. The former UC member said although they were in Las Vegas for a few days, Sun Myung Moon and Hak Jahan showed up only once in front of the church members. Did the church members on the tour know that Hak Jahan was gambling together with the church officials? The former member says, Nobody knew. It is discouraging to hear that they were gambling. It is shocking. I cry when I think of the church believers. They made the donation money through their hard works. When it was still short, they borrowed from other sources. It is very hard to understand how Hak Jahan and church officials could easily lose so much money through gambling. When we asked for an interview with the head office of the UC in Japan and Korea about these gambling activities at Las Vegas casinos, we received this response from the Japanese head office. Upon confirmation, it appears that the information obtained by your program has no basis in fact for our corporation. So we will refrain from responding to you at this time. You fucking bastards. Like the document they showed the fucking documents, the goddamn IRS documents, the internal documents from MGM hotels. And they're just like, oh, it's bullshit. No, it's fucking real, dude. It's fucking real. And there there's twelve one thousand two hundred and fifty six Japanese people who all flew over at their own expense to to bring envelopes full of cash to give to the Moon family. This shit happened. 
fuck you, church leaders. Fuck you. Lying fucking bastards. Okay, let's continue. Las Vegas tour には... Also participating in the Las Vegas tour was the mother of a former second generation member, a, who goes by the name of Devil. Fuck yes, Devil. I, I, I love that. Let's, let's fucking go. Let's, let's hear it. Uh, she has been speaking out about the damage caused by the Unification Church. The money we dedicated to the UC disappeared in gambling. It is terrible that President Hak Chahan herself poured this much donation money into casinos. The church monies gave the money even by borrowing or giving up their college education. It makes me angry that they gambled it away in an instant. It's inexcusable. And you are damn right, that shit is inexcusable. It is absolutely inexcusable for Hak Jahan and Sung Myung Moon and the members of the Moon family and all the leaders of the church to coerce money, to coerce millions of dollars out of their followers who are convinced that that money will somehow go towards saving the world and then go turn around and use that money in a casino, fucking gamble away $42 million. It is fucking sickening. These people are sick. They are evil people. And I'm glad that these people in Japan are digging into this story. And I, I wish there was more of that work going on in the U.S. and other countries. But yeah, TBS, man, fucking great job. Keep doing that shit. If anyone else has interesting shit that they think should be translated, then hit me up. But I think this is pretty fucking awesome that this shit was released. It just makes me wonder how much other shit is out there that's just just fucking lost in translation and doesn't doesn't even hit the english speaking market um but yeah this shit's inex inexcusable fucking inexcusable fucking evil evil people i'm sorry <laughs> fucking pastors are evil to be doing this shit and i'm kind of hoping that somewhere out there someone's gonna look at this and be like yeah fuck that i'm done you don't owe these people any money no one owes them money. In fact, they owe you money for the time and money that they fucking stole from you. So don't give them any more shit to go just fucking burn in a casino. Fuck them. Live your life and enjoy it. But don't give money to these bastards. Please. Until next time, be safe, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.